Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Coming up later in the hour, Barack Obama's White House Rural Council. We have a 10 governor council now. Well, now he has a central economic planning for America's heartland, what he calls the bitter clingers. That's going to be coming up, an expose of Rick Perry. Right now, let's go back to Tim uh, in Florida. Uh, Tim, uh, uh, what was the next point you wanted to make? You, you mentioned YouTube earlier, and they're passing this new law for this five-year imprisonment thing uh, if you do a copyright. I don't have a YouTube account uh, just because of reasons of like that. When you said people took down sites because they said they had porn on them, but you know, they didn't, but they did. They took them down. And if, if you have an account, I mean, I think that's a way that they can hold you accountable. If, who's to, what's to keep them from posting something on your account? Well, listen, we can't let the it. intimidation get to us. That, 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 it's not YouTube doing this particular thing. It, and, and Tech Dirt and, and other you know, r really uh, accurate, incredible groups have, have, have done the breakdown in the last six months. They have a piece of legislation that's now gone out of committee where if you embed a YouTube video, it's five years in prison when, when YouTube and every other video site wants you to embed. And the person that posts the video can either have it where it's embed enabled or not embed enabled. So you then embed uh, a Fox News video or a Russia Today video, even though it's their official YouTube and they allow you to embed, they give you the code they want you to. Uh, the uh, Tech Dirt and, and, and the ACLU and the Electronic Frontier Foundation in the last six months, and they break all this down uh, in the report, they went and lobbied to the feds and said, now listen, you're like Senator Ted Stevens who thinks the Internet's a bunch of tubes and you know that, 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 that things get clogged up. That's not how it works. Uh, you need to change the language of this. And, and they said, we, we know that's the language. And so... That's what they're doing. Uh, here it is. Senators unconcerned about massive consequences of criminalizing and betting YouTube videos. This is really no surprise, but the same Senate Judiciary Committee that unanimously approved the Patriot Act IP Act, despite worries from Internet experts and major media about how it would break the Internet, has now almost unanimously approved the anti-Internet streaming bill, which makes it a felony to stream certain videos online, potentially putting people in jail for embedding YouTube videos or just putting up YouTube lip-syncing videos. What's really troubling here is that the media and plenty of concerned citizens have directly raised the issue about the unintended consequences of this law. And while Senator uh, Amy, I can't pronounce her name, Clo. Bacher and John Cornyn and Christopher Coons continue to insist that, of course, the law is not intended to be used against such people, just like the Patriot Act wasn't for non-terror related. It was written for the, the American people, folks, not for terrorists. They have made no move to fix the bill. Even supporters of the bill who insist that they were wrong about what the bill allowed eventually conceded that our argument was accurate and that the bill could be used to put people in jail for embedding a YouTube video or doing a lip sync joke video. Uh, and it goes, this is a huge, huge problem. Of course, it's not a huge problem. The system's doing this on purpose. And there's Kurt Nemo's article about the Tech Dirt Report. And he has links to it all. Embedding YouTube videos may soon be a felony. And uh, we'll uh, put that uh, back up because I want to read a quote from that. It says, the owner and others associated with the website could face up to five years in prison. And this is just an attempt. I mean, they're going to try all this. Just like they tried to say black people weren't humans and folks had to fight back against it. Tyrants, as George Washington said, the limit of tyranny you will live under is the exact level you put up with. Uh, anything else, Tim? Um, a couple months ago, you covered the school in Texas that got $2 million grant from the government. Um, I'm curious, is that the same school that they're videotaping the kids and they're not allowed to bring their lunch? Because if it is, I mean, that's like a, a lab rat scenario. They're going to give them different types of food, see what, or what puts them. No, that, uh, that's exactly. No, it's in Chicago school district saying, parents, you can't be trusted. Your kids belong to us. They actually basically said that. Uh, one of the head superintendent said you can't be trusted. They're not allowed to pack lunches for their kids because they're just biological androids to produce more slaves uh, for the system. It was a San Antonio elementary, uh, Pentagon, $2 million grant. 
to watch the kids as they eat with AI cameras uh, to, yeah, to track them. Yes, we'll, we'll be right back with more calls. Stay with us. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gusset's got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. In the past two months, over 2,000 natural disasters have been recorded. With the ongoing economic crash, millions of Americans can't afford food. Also, because of the exploding price of fuel, many farmers can't afford to plant their crops. We must take control of our greatest dependency, food. Folks, you can trust eFoods Direct, the 28-year veteran of long-term storable foods. And they're here to help. For a limited time, when you place your order for a three-week supply of the best storable food on the planet, you will receive the fourth week absolutely free you will save 75 dollars and receive a full month supply for less than eight dollars a day this offer ends on june 22nd so act now and buy three to get the fourth one free from eFoods direct call 800-409-5633 or go online to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash alex your order deadline is june 22nd to buy three and get one free call 800-409-5633 or visit eFoodsDirect.com forward slash alex From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. By the way, I covered the report that's all over the technology papers, including even CNN. Senators unconcerned about massive consequences of criminalizing embedding YouTube videos. Five years in prison, even though the YouTube wants you to embed them. Uh, this is the essence of tyranny, is it makes all normal, non-criminal activity criminal, so they can then selectively enforce on whoever they want. Then they train the entire population of the country that's under tyranny to live like prisoners. And that's and then you get little Soviet minders on every street corner and the, the whole spy society. Tyranny is a lot more common than even quasi free societies. So we know exactly what this looks like. And I've got another uh, report uh, here. Uh, this was put out by the big uh, gold exchange, the Forex uh, trading of over the counter gold and silver to be illegal beginning uh, July 15th. Uh, little known new government regulation. And Forex uh, is saying they are discontinuing trading for U.S. residents on Friday, July 15th, 2011. This is how they're going to kill the gold and silver market. It won't work because it's going to explode worldwide. And we're going to be breaking that down a little bit later uh, in the hour. And it dovetails with this report. Gold rises to new record in GDP 
close to near record highs in euros and most currencies on gold debt contagion risk. So they tried to knock down gold and silver, but they're just racing back up. And so the federal government has announced very quietly that it will be illegal uh, to uh, privately sell and trade gold over the counter. Now, now again, this isn't being announced because they want it to just go into place. But that's why, in fact, reprint me from two months ago, the uh, Von Notaus report ahead. Uh, I believe the AP headline was, you can also print me the FBI press release, ahead uh, of Liberty Dollar uh, convicted. And, and, and then in the article... They had quotes from the U.S. attorney saying, this is an act of terrorism. Anyone that tries to create an alternate currency or that basically has gold and silver is an enemy of America, will be infiltrated, will be destroyed, will be overthrown. I mean, it, it literally said that. You are enemies, we're going to get you. <laughs> yeah, Because America's run by the big mega banks that have devalued the dollar, that have killed the country. And they're saying, if you try to create alternate systems so you can survive, we're not going to let you. We're here to bankrupt you. We're here to run you to ground. Meanwhile, all over Europe, the people are rebelling and the globalists are not going to get away with this. Uh, but here it is, trading of over-the-counter gold and silver to be illegal beginning July 15th. Now, we'll see if they're actually able... Uh, to try to uh, implement this. But there it is, Reuters, Liberty Dollar uh, architect Bernard von Nothaus convicted. They called him a special type of terrorist. Uh, Reuters, man convicted of creating counterfeit U.S. currency. And then we'll also get the FBI uh, press release because people won't believe this. I need to, you, you can link directly through to the FBI where they say it is terrorism and that they're going to get you. Yes, they are. They're going to get you good. And if you're the head of the Texas uh, Power Commission or a member of the state rep on a trip to Louisiana and they find out you're with the Texas delegation, get over here. It's punishment time. They walk right over, put the blue gloves on and say, get ready for this. And they grab your genitals and they crush them. And then the, the uh, state official said, are you punishing me? And they said, you bet your bottom dollar we are, boy. This is a Fed takeover. Only in America could they take... Head state officials, public servants, and just crush them. Uh, oh, you think I'm joking? You didn't hear yesterday's show? I have local Fox News with the interviews. This is how far it's gone. This is how crazy. Uh, they just gave a woman five years probation for lightly spanking her child in Corpus Christi, Texas, while the state paddles kids in, in all the major public schools. It's not illegal to spank your kids. They don't care. Because they're tyrants. It's getting scarier by the minute. It's getting crazier. And they're just trying to bum rush us to get us used to it. Trey in South Carolina, you're on the air. Hey, Alex. Um, I actually had a question for you. Uh, about five months ago, I watched this documentary called Wake Up Call to the New World Order. Um, I actually officially got woken up. And it's hard to live, I guess, what, we, what other people in society called normal life. It's hard to live that way whenever you, you've you been woken up. And my question to you was, in your position, you've been doing this for so long, and you've been awake, um, how do you deal with it? I mean, how do you deal with the burden of the knowledge and and getting it out to people, and especially when they've been conditioned to not listen to it and they've been programmed to, to turn it off and turn it away? Um, my, my big question is, how do you penetrate through that? Illusion. Well, I mean, this is a huge multifaceted question, Trey, and I appreciate your call. Number one, you've got to be confident in the knowledge. A lot of people are apologetic when they tell their neighbors, oh, hey, you know, there's a corrupt government. And they act real sheepish. And the neighbor is insecure and feels powerless as well. And so they subconsciously then defend the system, you know, in a kind of make believe thing that children do to say, hey, there's no such thing as bad men. There's no such thing as corruption. You're a kook. Everything's fine. It's a form of cognitive dissonance denial. But more importantly, you've got to realize it's never a majority that defeats tyranny. It's always a highly motivated minority. Just as it's always a highly motivated minority that brings in tyranny, it's a minority that kicks it out. Most people are followers. So you want to find leaders. And it may be a little old lady, it may be a little old man, it may be a young person, a black person, an Asian person, a Hispanic person, a white guy. 
It doesn't matter. You're going to find that leadership in your own heart.